Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when the game is crashing on this, uh, like if you're receiving this crash report tool, a crash report is being created. So if you see this, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart Steam. So go to Steam, click on exit, and once Steam is closed, you can launch Steam once again and then check. If that does not work, run Steam as an administrator. So again, close Steam. And once you close it, type in Steam in Windows search box, make a right click on Steam and then click on run as administrator. And then you can check. If that does not work, restart your computer. This is important. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So just restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select manage, click on browse local files. It will take you to the game installation folder. Make a double click over here, launch the game from here and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, then go to properties, go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check. Still not working, go to properties once again and this time put a check over here, select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game and then check. If that does not work, this time you can select Windows 7 over here and then hit apply, click on OK, launch the game and then check still not working then put a check on disable full screen optimization hit apply click on ok and then check still not working so when you put a check on all these boxes still not working then you, in that case you can uncheck these boxes and hit apply click on ok and then follow the next step now the next step is to verify the game files do not ignore this step just make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on Verify integrity of game files. Once the verification is 100% complete, launch the game and then check. Next step is to. Now, if you're receiving these errors, in that case, spam, click on retry. So when you receive this error or something went wrong error, you see a retry option. So just spam, click retry and then check. Next step is to exit right client from system tray so on the taskbar here you can see the show hidden icons option click on this up arrow now over here if you see a riot client running you can close it so if you have vanguard or riot client running simply make a right click and then you can click on exit and then check now if you are using reset in that case uh, you can uninstall reset so once you launch reset now you can select the game i am not using reset with monster hunter wilds so if you're using you can select the game and then click on next i'm i'm showing you a different game because i'm not using reset with this game so select the game and then click on next next and then select the option which says uninstall reset and effects and then click on next and then finish and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to remove crash report.exe or crash report dll dot dll from the game installation folder but create a backup for these files and then you can delete it so go to steam make a right click on the game and then select manage now click on browse local files it, it will take you to the game installation folder now over here you can see crash report and crash report dll dot dll file so create a backup of these two files so just copy it and then paste it to the desktop just create a backup now once you have a backup now you can delete these two files and then you can launch the game and then check still not working the next step is to close steam and then go to steam folder so go to steam and then click on steam over here exit steam and then go to the steam folder so if the steam is installed in c drive you can open c drive open program file 686 and then open the steam folder now, once you open the Steam folder, create a backup of version.dll file. So, if this Steam folder has this version.dll, so let me check. So, over here you can see version.dll. So, if you don't have this file, you can skip this step, follow the next step. But if you have this file, you can just create a backup first. So, copy this file and maybe paste to the desktop. Now, once you have a backup, now you can delete this file. And then now you have to launch Steam. You can just run it as an administrator. 
now once steam is up and running now you can launch the game and then check next step is to clear download cache now for this you can go to steam uh, sorry go to steam at the top left and then go to settings and then go to downloads scroll down over here you can see clear cache option so click on clear cache and then confirm and once that is done launch the game and then check next step is to turn off or close VPN so if you're using any kind of VPN services you can close it or you can even uninstall it and then check next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee so whichever antivirus program you have allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security go to windows settings and then go to privacy and security and then click on windows security now click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it now click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow and then click on add and allowed app click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so this is the location in my case so go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then go to control panel click on system and security windows defender firewall click on allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall click on change settings and then click on allow another app click on browse and then again the, select the same exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added the game now once the game is added so in my case the game is already added so once the game is added over here now you can launch the game and then check now the next step is to perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website if you have amd card go to amd website i'm showing for nvidia so to perform a clean installation go to nvidia website and then select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card and then select the right operating system so if you have windows 11 select windows 11 if you have windows 10 select windows 10 and then click on find and once you click on find you will see this page now here you will find the latest ge force game ready driver now click on view and then once you click on view you will see the download option click on download and let the download complete now once the download is complete run the exe file now once you run the exe file you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then select custom option over here by default express would be selected select custom and then click on next and then you will see this screen now put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation make sure you put a check on perform a clean installation and then click on next and let the installation complete once the installation is complete restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game now amd users first of all uninstall the current version the current graphic card driver then restart your computer then go to amd website select your graphic card install the latest bios and then uh, install the latest graphic card driver and then restart your computer and then launch the game now amd users also install this amd optional update that is 25.2.1 so this has worked for a few players so you can just in google you can search for this update and then go to amd website and then here you can see monster hunter wilds new game support so scroll down and then you can click on this update over here and once the download is complete you can run this uh, exe file install it restart your computer make sure that you restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game you can even try to install this 25.1.1 uh, for many users this has worked so if that does not work you can even try this one amd 25.1.1 optional update you can again search in google and then go to amd website and then scroll down and you can install this update restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then go to graphic settings and then click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added now scroll down and find the game in the list now once you find the game click on the game and over here you can see gpu preference select high performance you will see your graphic card now you can launch the game next step is to try debug mode in nvidia control panel so make a right click on the desktop show more option and then click on nvidia control panel now once nvidia control panel is open now you can go to help option at the top and then over here you can see debug mode so if this is unchecked 
you can put a check on debug mode make sure debug mode is checked and then you can launch the game and then check next step is to install visual c++ file for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website on this website you will see visual studio 2015 17 19 and 22 download x86 and x64 install both the file so click on x86 over here and then you can run this exe file now if you see the repair option click on repair if you see install button click on install download this x64 file as well again run this exe file Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. Make sure both x86 and x64 is installed and then restart your computer. So click on repair, click on yes to allow. And once both are installed, close this and restart is a must after this. And after the system restart, launch the game. Now, the next step is to close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner reward tuner running you can close it so if you're running this msi afterburner or if you're running this reward tuner so if you have these application running you can just click on this up arrow over here make a right click close it if you have reward tuner running close it if or if you have any other overclocking application close it also, if remove the undervolt. So if you have undervolted your computer, remove the undervolt. Disable Steam overlay. Now for this, go to Steam, make a right click on the game, and then select properties. Turn off the option which says enable the Steam overlay while in game. Turn this off. Also, if you have Discord running, you can go to Discord and turn off overlay in Discord. If you have GeForce Experience or if you have NVIDIA app running, you can open NVIDIA app and then go to settings. And over here, you can see the option which says NVIDIA overlay. You can turn this off and then launch the game or, sim or simply you can close all the overlay application and then launch the game if you have any kind of uh, razor uh, application or any third party application running close it also unplug all the external devices like hotas wheel pedals or any kind of usb adapter connected which you're not using disconnected disconnect additional controllers sometimes we have uh, you have we have extra controller connected or maybe the usb dongle connected disconnected disconnect multiple monitor try launching the game on single monitor if you have any third party services or uh, application or services running close it launch the game update windows to the latest version this is important do not ignore this go to windows update and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer and make sure that your windows 11 is up to date like in the latest update right now uh, let me w-i-n-v-e-r winver and here you can see latest version is 2.4 h2 so make sure that you update your windows 11 to version 2.4 h2 and get the latest update over here restart your computer and then launch the game next step is to increase the virtual memory so to increase the virtual memory type in view advanced system settings in windows search box and then click on view advanced system settings and then click on the first settings and then go to advanced tab and then click on change over here and then select the drive so uncheck the box which says automatically manage paging file size for all drives uncheck this box and select the drive where the game is installed so select the drive and then once you select the right drive now put a check on custom size and for initial size it's 1.5 into total ram so you can check the total RAM in Windows settings. You can go to system and then go to about and total RAM in my case is 16 gigabyte. So you can calculate accordingly. In my case is 16 GB. So I will calculate as per 16 GB. So and first of all, we have to convert 16 GB into megabyte. So we will open calculator so type in calculator in run box and then click on ok and over here uh, it's 16 1.5 into total ram total ram in my case it's 16 ram 16 gb so 1 16 into 1024 1024 is actually 1 gb is equal to 1024 megabyte so 16 gb in megabyte will be 
16384 into 1.5 1.5 into total ram this is my total ram in megabyte now 1.5 into total ram total ram that is into 1.5 so in my case initial size is 24576 24576 and maximum size is 3 into total ram now total ram in my case that is 16 gigabyte i have 16 gigabyte of ram so 16 into 1024 i have converted this in megabyte megabyte now that is 3 into total ram so total ram is this much into 3 that is 49152 now click on set over here then click on okay okay apply okay okay now restart computer make sure that you restart your computer after this now the next step is to update the bios so go to your system manufacturer website select your model number make sure that you select your computer and then update the bios in case of laptop make sure charger is connected the ac adapter is connected when you update the system bios during the bios update your system will restart do not unplug the power cable when it's updating the system bios after the bios update log into the computer and then launch the game next step is to you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game but if you're able to launch the game switch to window mode turn off frame generation now this has worked for many players so you can go to graphics option in the game and then turn off frame generation you can even turn up scale you can turn off dlss lower down video settings you can set it to medium uh, like video settings and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drive so if nothing is working make a right click on the game select manage click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive, E drive, or any external drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, then try to install the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run the game successfully on your Windows computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.